Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Fiolano TV. I hope you well from wherever you're watching this channel. Now, sometimes it's good to carefully understand, you know, politicians. Some of these politicians take us through roller coaster politics, and this leaves so many people confused. Maybe you might be wondering why I'm choosing to use such terminology. It's very simple. I want us to go to something that Kalonzo Msioka said. And uh, contrary to the ongoing perception that Kalonzo is not for the talks, the statements which Kalonzo released yesterday, I took a very, very keen interest in the wordings. I don't know how many of you followed what Kalonzo Msioka was saying. Unless, and I want to add this, unless that new cabinet will take place after after what and this this is something we need to really reflect on after what our leader honorable Raila Odinga has called a convention a convention not a dialogue because there's something there Kalonzo talks about a people's convention and that is what Raila Odinga had proposed he did propose to have a government of national unity, but a people's con convention that was going to lead to a transitional government. So, uh, personally, what I think is happening in Azimio, there is a, either someone is trying to play some uh, game here over the slots which were allocated to, as, to Azimio, the seven cabinet slots, because what has it that four will go to Azimio, two will go to Waipa and one will go to DAPK. So Kioni and the rest, Matakarua, will be left out. So there is some hardline positions here because of those other parties which will not secure a seat. So let's just be honest because I want us to have an honest, candid discussion and probably there's something here after the discussion. Maybe we shall have some afterthought on the position of Azimio. Is it that these people are not united, that Kalonzo Msioka is not for the Raila Molodinga idea, or Kalonzo is just trying to play politics? Something is not happening here. Now, before you get there, please like this video. It's so important if you like this video. And I'm so grateful for everyone who has been liking our videos. I don't take that for granted. Subscribe to our channel if you've not subscribed before. And to existing subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Now, if you listen to Kalonzo Msioka, he talked about a people's conversion. And he literally agreed to that concept. But at the end of his statement, he maintained that the uh, government of national unity is not a thing for them. Now, that's what we call roller coaster politics. Now, let me take you through something about people's convention. Maybe you just want to understand something. What does it mean? Because what has it that it was tried in Britain? Now, let me just take you through this information. The people's convention was a conference that was proposed by the Communist Party of Great Britain in 1940-1941. Its advocates attempted to persuade Labour Party and trade union members that the current government was solely for the rich and was dominated by those who thought those who through appeasement had caused the Second World War, who opposed the Soviet Union and who were profiteering from the world from, from the war. Its literature did not, however, explicitly, explicitly uh, state that it was the communist backed. So if you go to this story again, it, uh, it, we are told that the conversion was vigorously opposed by the Labour Party and the Trades Union Congress and failed to take off. Eventually, it was disowned by the Communist Party of Great Britain itself in January 1942. There were also proposals. Okay, fine. Now you get you, you understand. This is where now Raila Morodinga seems to have originated this concept of the People's Convention. We all know that Raila Morodinga lived in the Germany back then in the days, and he understands the ge ge geopolitics better than most of those people in Azimio. In fact, even in Kenya Kwanza. So let's go to the statement that Kalonzo said. Just watch this video important matter is to state that Azimio is united. Azimio la Moja, one Kenya coalition party response to
to the proposed Kenya Kwanzaa-led broad-based government of national unity. As Azimio constituent parties, we held our respective Just national this video. council sessions to discuss the proposed Kenya Kwanzaa-led broad-based government of national unity. The Waipa Democratic Movement, Jubilee Party, DAP Kenya, Party of National Unity, PNU, NAC Kenya, and we want to add even ODM had their, uh, their P IPG, sorry, parliamentary group meeting at uh, uh, Jaromogi Oginga Odinga Foundation. We shall not join for the straightforward reason that such actions are betrayal of the ideology, values, and tenets of both our coalition party and our constituent parties. As long as the Kenya Kwanzaa regime remain in place, absolutely nothing will change. A cabinet reorganization and changing of office holders will only be cosmetic. Unless, and I want to add this, unless that new cabinet will take place after after what, and this, this is something we need to really reflect on, after what our leader, Honorable Raila Odinga, has called a convention. A convention, not a dialogue. Following that convention, then there can be engagement with regard to interim arrangements of a government of national unity. A transitional and a transitional, transitional government of national unity following resolutions of a convention number three should any of our members opt to join the proposed kenya kwanza led broad-based government of national unity we shall not be party to that decision they will actually only be joined now from that video ladies and gentlemen the first thing that kalonzo talks about is that azimio one kenya alliance is united I wanted to under, under, underline that part, we are united. That is sending a signal there that what is being portrayed in the media is not what is really happening on the ground. We are united. I personally know the biggest reason why there is political feud in Azimio is because of the seven slots. It's not that they don't want to have any discussion or any, any formation with Kenya Kwanzaa. They do. In fact, what they're trying to do is trying to convince the Gen Zs that we are look here, we are still with you, but we don't want uh, what Raila is proposing. But if you have this, we can take it. You know, this is just some kind of political game being played. Personally, that's what I understand by it. Kalozo has been given two slots as swiper. ODM has taken the lion's share, four slots, and I understand Joe or Paranya, they are part of them, and I think even Junet. You know, so on the part of DAPK, DAPK has been given one slot, and that is Eugene Omalwa. But you see, Eugene Omalwa seems to be saying, I don't want. But if you look at it very carefully, these people are for the slots. It's only that Mata Karua, uh, the Skioni faction, Jubilee, then there is a uh, oh, Wajakoya's party has not been allocated any and then we have Mwangiwairia not also been taken care of so this are, could be the reasons why there is that uh, fuel because even in that press brief Martha Karo was not spotted Wajakoya was not spotted I don't know whether Mwangiwairia was there but you can just check from the video I think he was also not there that means those are the people who are not happy of course Kenyans don't want a government of national unity Kenyans don't want dialogue but the proposal by Raila Molodinga to have a people's convention and to ultimately have a transi transitional government that will last until 2027, probably, if that is the proposal. And then after that, they can now make another move of unseating that uh, transitional government completely. That will be via the ballot.
And I think from the statement you've heard from uh, Kalonzo Musyoka, that is a stand of Kalonzo Musyoka there. But, but though there is some kind of roller coaster here. Someone says no, and then uh, somewhere there says, but it can be yes if this happens. It means Kalonzo Musyoka is still playing the cards of watermelon. I mean, those are the, that's the reference that he has always been given, the watermelon. So that is what I can pick from the statement of Kalonzo Musyoka. So personally, Kalonzo Musyoka is is for the transitional government and Kalonzo Musyoka has indirectly agreed with the Raida Molodinga's points so what do you think about the statement by Kalonzo Musyoka please just go below on the comment section and offer a reaction on that maybe if you agree if you think Kalonzo Musyoka is agreeing with the, slowly agreeing with Raila Molodinga or you think Kalonzo Musyoka is just trying to play politics just tell us below on the comment section there because one thing I know about the situation right now is that Kalonzo Msioka is trying to play, is trying to balance the situation between, you know, wanting to have Mata Karua Wajakoya Kioni on board and not wanting to let go Raila Molodinga because of the, the vote basket. So Kalonzo is just trying like Anajari uh, Kupita Katikati, the normal concept number one to me, Kupita Katikati. So he's trying to manage the two factions. The no and the, and the yes faction of Azimio. But that's not going to last for long because eventually uh, those people will also look at him uh, from a different perspective and say, Hata wewe sasa unatudanganya. I have seen Kion, Kioni's response, but I'll talk about it in the next video. But Kioni has also re reacted to certain positions he took and certain positions that Raila Molodinga took. And he has a very firm stand. So, Perhaps if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, take one second and subscribe, like this video. Until you catch up again, stay safe and stay blessed.